In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use motion tweens in Flash. And I'm also going to be showing you how to apply easing to your motion tweens to make the animation much smoother. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to make an object to animate with. So I'm just going to make a red square. Now, in order to apply motion tweens to your objects, they need to be a symbol. So I'm going to quickly convert this into a symbol. And a movie clip will do just fine for this. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a pretty simple tween. I'm just going to have this object move from this side of the stage to that side. So I'm going to right click the frame it's on, and there it is right there, create motion tween. So you'll notice as soon as I press this, Flash will automatically give me a second's worth of frames on my timeline, which is pretty handy. So no actual animation has taken place just yet. As you can see, the object is completely stationary. So I need to add an end point to this motion tween. So I'm just going to drag this to this side of the screen. So you'll notice as soon as I let go, you'll get this here. And this is the guideline. And it basically shows you the path of your motion tween. And you'll notice it has these dots in equal increments. And each of these dots represents a frame on the timeline. So it shows you the spacing and it shows you how fast the object is moving between each frame. So it's pretty handy. So another really cool thing about the guideline is you can distort it and change its shape and it will update the tween automatically. So I'll just show you right now. I'm just going to move this up here and make an arc shape. And it's updated the path just like this. So if I play this, I've got a completely different motion path, which is pretty cool. Another thing is that you can change the color of the guideline. And it all depends on the color of the layer which your motion tween is on. So I'm just going to go to properties. And I'm going to change this to, let's say, dark blue. And there we go, it's changed color. Awesome. So next, what I think I'll do is I'm going to extend the amount of frames I've got on the timeline to about 60. So we currently have a start point and an end point, but that's it. So I'm going to add a few more points in between. And I'll make the, I'll make the motion tween a bit more interesting. So I'm going to roughly around here, I'm just going to move the object a bit. And it will automatically add a keyframe in. And as you can see, the path is starting to be distorted as I add more keyframes in. I'll make this move up. And then I'm going to just add one more down here. So now we've got a bit more of an interesting motion tween going on here. So let's check it out. All right, pretty cool. Now don't forget, if you want to look at your animation without the guideline on, you can do a Flash Publish Preview. So I'm going to go to Publish Preview and Flash. And there you go, you've got your object without the guideline. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to delete these frames for the moment. And now I'm going to talk about anchor points in relation to motion tweens. So I'm going to pretend that this new object is a leg of a character. I'm going to make it into a symbol. And now I'm going to go and right click and go on free transform. And I'm going to drag and drop the anchor point from the middle up to the top. And now I have a completely different way of animating this object because now it swings like this, just like a leg. So I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to make a new motion tween. And I'm going to have the end point here. So I'm going to have a nice swinging animation. Just like this. OK, so I'm just going to delete these frames. So lastly, I'm going to be covering the ease function. So for this example, I'm going to make some text. So I'm going to have a motion tween of this text appearing from about here and then just moving on to screen. So I'm going to make it into a symbol, first of all. And the start point will be just out of boundaries of the stage, about here. And I'll make my motion tween. I'll make about 30 frames for this. And so the end point will be it appearing about here on screen. So let's check it out so far. All right, so the effect has some potential, but it's kind of lacking something. You can see it's a bit sluggish and it doesn't quite work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an easing effect on the tween. So to do this, I'm going to click on my motion tween. And over here on properties, there will be a function called ease. And it's by default on zero, but you can change it to a negative value or a positive value. So if I change it to a negative value, I'm going to change it to the maximum negative value, which is minus 100, 
what you'll find is if you look at the guideline, you'll see the increments at the start are very closely bunched together and it gradually starts spreading out and going at a constant speed around here. So what it does is if you add a negative value, the start part of your motion tween will appear to go a lot slower and then it will gradually speed up and by the end it's going at a constant speed. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, cool, so it's looking a lot better already. So what I want to happen is I want the text to slow down at the end rather than the start. So all I have to do is just reverse this value to positive 100. As you can see, they're more tightly bunched together at the end. And now if I preview this, we've got it going very fast and all of a sudden it slows down and it's creating a much better effect. So let's do a published preview of that. And we've got a pretty cool effect of the text coming in. It's quite fast at the start, so I'm actually just going to add a bit more frames so we've got a slightly slower animation. Let's check that out. All right, really cool. It really makes a difference if you add some easing. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I would definitely advise you experiment with motion tweens, and you'll be creating some awesome effects and practical animation in no time. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.